The best way to inspect for insulation is before sheetrock is installed in the building. Two questions need to be answered during this inspection. First, has the right level of insulation been installed in the building? And second, has it been installed correctly? All walls between conditioned space and unconditioned space must be insulated. This includes exterior walls, knee walls and attics, perimeter joists, and any walls between a conditioned space and an unconditioned space, such as exterior storage rooms, mechanical rooms, and skylight wells. Check the approved plans or the compliance documentation for the required R values for the insulation. For framed walls, fiberglass bats, rigid foam boards, and blown-in insulation are different types of insulation you may encounter in the field. Fiberglass insulation R values must be printed on the craft backing of the insulation or on the insulation itself for unfaced bats. For blown-in or sprayed insulation, the installer is required to provide a certification of the installed density and R value. This certification should be posted at the job site. Ensuring that the insulation is properly installed is important to the overall energy performance of the building. It can also affect the durability of the wall structure. The insulation should not be compressed behind wiring or plumbing. Compressed insulation will have a reduced R value, lowering the efficiency of the insulation. Also, ensure the insulation is installed in substantial contact with the inside surface, separating the conditioned space from the unconditioned space. Make sure the insulation fills the entire cavity. Bats that are cut too short will leave voids in the wall, reducing effectiveness of the insulation. For continuous insulation, make sure there are no voids and the insulation is well bonded to the outside of the framing. You may also encounter a raised floor over a crawl space or over outdoor air. This includes buildings over a garage and cantilevered floors. This must also be insulated per the requirements in ASHRAE 90.1. There are two items to check when inspecting raised floor insulation. First, verify that the R value of the installed installation meets or exceeds that shown on the building plans, and second, verify that it fills the joist cavity completely. If rigid board insulation is installed, verify that the R value printed on the insulation matches what's called for on the plans. For sprayed on insulation, check the insulation certificate to verify the installed R value meets or exceeds what's called for on the plans. Finally, check to make sure the insulation is properly installed and supported. Insulation installed between framing should be installed with no gaps between the insulation and the subfloor. Twine, metal rods, wire, and netting are common materials used for supporting insulation. They should also ensure that the insulation remains in place for the lifespan of the building. Rigid board insulation should be installed with a good mechanical bond between the floor and the insulation. Spray-on applications must be installed with no gaps in the insulated surfaces.